So in this video, we are going to learn how to add HubSpot contact from MySQL database. Now suppose guys, from various sources, you are adding some user details into your MySQL database and you want to add those users as a new contact in your HubSpot CRM. So what if I told you, you can actually automate this process. So in this automation, whenever a new row of user data will be added in a table in our MySQL database, automatically with the same details, the user will be added or created as a new contact in our HubSpot CRM. Interesting, right? Now, if you want to know how you can set up this automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Pavlikinix dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as MySQL to HubSpot. And then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first, we have to connect our MySQL database with Pavli Connect in the trigger window so that every time the details of a new contact is added in our MySQL database in a particular table, automatically those details, that data will be received inside Pavli Connect. And after that, using this Pavli Connect's automation, we are going to send those new contact details to HubSpot so that we can add that user as a new contact over there. So let's see how it is done. Now here in our trigger window, in this choose app section, search for MySQL, just select it. After selecting MySQL in trigger event from this drop down, select new row in a trip table. Then just click on connect and click on add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our MySQL account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the username and password of our MySQL database. Also, we have to enter the host, the database and the port over here. So if you have created your MySQL database, your MySQL server, you must have had all of these details. You just have to enter all of these details over here in this connection window and click on save to make the connection. Right now, I'm just going to select the existing connection which I have made and click on save. And after clicking on save, we will see our MySQL database will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the table name. So here in this drop down, you can see all the tables which I have created in that particular database can be seen over here. So in my MySQL database, here you can see that right now I have created two tables. First one is the transaction details and second one is the new contacts. And here guys, we can see both the tables over here in this drop down. If you have created multiple tables more than these tables, you will see a list of all the tables over here. Here we have to select that the data of a new row from which particular table we want to receive. So I want to receive the new contact details from this table named as new contacts. So we are going to select that particular table over here in Pavli Connect. After selecting the table, it is asking us for the unique column. So what is the unique column? What is the column which will have a unique data for every new contact? So in this drop down, you can see a list of all the columns which we have created in this table. In my table, I have ID, first name, last name, email, and mobile number. And you can see a list of all of these columns over here in this drop down. Out of all of this, the column of ID is a unique column because every new row of data, every contact will have a unique ID, unique number, unique sequencing. That's why I have selected ID over here in unique column. After selecting your unique column, here you can see that we have a button of save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, the data of the last row, the most recent row which was added in our MySQL database will be received inside Pavli Connect. So right now in my table, I have added only one row of data. This is it. The ID is one, first name is demo, last name is user. This is the email address and this is a dummy mobile number. So when I'm going to click on this save and send test request, the data of the last row, the most recent row will be received. And because we only had one row of data, the data of the same row will be received inside Pavli Connect. And here in our Pavli Connect workflow, 
you can see the same details. Here you can see the same name, demo user, same ID, same mobile number and the email address. Means the data of a new user, a new contact which is going to get added in our MySQL database, the data of the last user, last row will be received inside Pavli Connect. And here guys, we can see that the step one of setting up this automation is simply completed. We have connected our MySQL database with Pavli Connect and received the data of the very last row, recent row which is added inside our Pavli Connect workflow. Now here guys, while clicking on save and send test request, it will just capture the data of one row. But while actually running this automation workflow, while actually making this automation workflow live after that, every one hour, Pavli Connect will check for new data in our MySQL database. And all the new rows, all the new data which is added in last one hour, Pavli Connect will get that data and one by one start processing that data using this automation workflow. It will, the data will go through with this automation workflow one by one. And it actually takes one hour of time because the connection of MySQL and Pavli Connect is a polling based connection. And in this type of connection, Pavli Connect will check for new data in MySQL every one hour. So that is why here guys, you can see that in response, right now we have just received the data of one user. Now after completing step one, we just have to move to step two. And in step two, we want to add this same user whose data we have received from MySQL as a contact in HubSpot CRM. And for that, just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, search for HubSpot. Just select it. After selecting HubSpot CRM, an action event from this drop down, select the action event as create a contact. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here in this window, we have to connect our HubSpot CRM account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with HubSpot CRM button. And because I have already logged into my HubSpot CRM account in my browser, Pavli Connect will detect the same account. We just have to select the account, just choose account. And then we just have to give the authorization permission. Just click on this tick button. And this is it. We will see our HubSpot CRM account will get connected with Pavli Connect after this. After making this connection, here it is asking us coaching institute. So guys, I have created my HubSpot CRM account for some coaching institute business, for example. So here from this drop down, you have to select in which profile or in which particular account you want to create the new contact. So I want to create the contact in this particular profile in this account. So I have selected that. If you have created only one profile, one business account, then in, the, in this drop down, you will see only one option which you have created and you have to select that over here. After selecting your business in which you want to add a new contact, here it is asking us some details of the new contact which we want to add, like company name, size, date of birth, degree, and all the other details like gender, graduation date, and all of these details. So if you want to add all of these details, you can add all of this data. If you get all of this data from your user in your MySQL database, then you can one by one map all of this data into their respective fields. So here you can see lots and lots of fields over here. Right now, we are just going to add the, some basic details like first name, last name, email, and phone number. So you can, here you can see field of different types of data. And if you get this data, you can enter that data over here by mapping. But right now, we are just going to create a contact with some basic details. So we will scroll down and here it is. The first thing which we wanted to add was the first name. So we have entered the first name, last name, email, and mobile number. So using these details, I wanted to create a new contact in HubSpot. And we have received all of these details from our MySQL database inside Pavli Connect in our trigger window. Here you can see in this trigger window response, we have received this data. So one by one, all the details which we have received, one by one, we are going to map these details into their respective fields of this HubSpot CRM action. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. What we have to do, we just have to click on this field. So here we have a field of first name. We have to click on this field and here in this drop down, you will see a list of all the responses which we have received from MySQL. And out of all of these responses, select the response of first name and it will be mapped over here. So whatever first name of a new user of a new contact, we are going to enter while adding a new row of data over here in this first name column. With the same first name, a new contact will be created in HubSpot CRM. After mapping the first name, it is asking us Twitter username, follow account, all of these details. So we haven't received these details and all of these details are also not mandatory, not required. So you can ignore these fields for now. Then it is asking us for the last name. So just click here and from the drop down, map the last name of the user. 
then it is asking us some other details then we have we have email so in the field of email let's map the email address and then here in field of mobile number let's map the mobile number over here so in this way if you are getting some more details in your mysql database and you are getting that mysql database data inside public connect you can map other details over here like address contact owner and all the other details over here into their respective field in our hubspot crm step and if not you can ignore these fields for now as well after mapping all the required data what we have to do we just have to scroll down and after that we just have to click on this save and send test request button and after clicking on save and send test request here you can see that we have received some response and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that the data which we have mapped over here in this hubspot crm action step basically the details of a new user which we have received from our mysql database the same user is now added as a new contact in our hubspot crm account so let's check it we will go to our hubspot crm we will go to this contact section and let's remove the filter and yes here you can see that demo user the same user the same person whose details were added in our mysql database the same user is now automatically added as a new contact in our hubspot crm account here you can see the same name same email address and other details too this means guys the automation workflow which we have created inside public connect between mysql and hubspot is working perfectly fine and using this automation whenever a new row of data will be added in our mysql database with the user details with the same details we are going to add that person we are going to add that user as a new contact in hubspot crm now here guys what we are going to do we are going to test this automation workflow once in real time and for that i'll just go to my mysql database account and then here i'm going to add a new row of data in this table i'm going to enter the details of a new person i'll just go to insert and let's add the details as for example test user this is the name of the person this is the email address now after that this is just another dummy mobile number and after entering these details just click on go so just now in my mysql table i have added a new row of data as you can see over here and as we add these details we will see within one hour the same user the same contact will be added as a new contact the same person will be added as a new contact in our hubspot crm account so here guys what we have to do we just have to wait for an hour over here okay so we have successfully waited for an hour let's go to our hubspot crm and refresh this contacts page once remove the filter and yes here you can see that test user the same user whose details we have added as a new row in our mysql database that same person has been added as a new contact in our hubspot crm here you can see the same name and the same email address and that too after one hour of adding that user's details in our mysql database so this means guys the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine and using this automation whenever we are going to add a new row in a table in our mysql database with the same details you can automatically add a user as a new contact in your hubspot crm so not just these applications you can connect plenty of other applications with public connect and one more important thing you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone this exact same workflow into your own public connect account and use this automation workflow for free also let me tell you public connect offers you a free plan and in this plan you will get some free task every month into your own public connect account so if you want to try and test this automation you can do it for absolutely free if you have any kind of doubts or queries you can post them on forum.pavli.com so if this video was helpful to you you can obviously like this video comment down your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others so guys that's it for today's video thank you have a great day